So this is Volvo's first all-electric only car. As you may be able to tell it is based on the Volvo XC40 but is this Coupe C40 recharge any better? Hello everyone, welcome to everything cars and more. Let's review the new 2022 Volvo C40 recharge. So I am going to start with the front of this car and I am going to admit that I did not realize that the actual front of this car is actually the same as the XC40 recharge facelift. This is because the XC40 has had such a minor facelift that it went under my radar. So what do we have? Well we have some stylish headlights with the Thor's Hammer LED daytime running light. We have a blanked off body color grille and a sporty lower central vent with some sporty side vents. Also we have this very upright bonnet that does not slope down like some other cars. So along the side it is very XC40 like until you get to the B pillar backwards. That is when you have this coupe like design which I do like to be honest. It gives the car a young sporty look which I believe will attract the younger buyers. We also have this black contrasting roof which I also like. So at the back we have a very different design to what we are used to. To start with we have these things from the roof which gives the roof a bubble effect. Lower down next to the rear window we have the very thin tail lights which look modern and sleek. Next we have this spoiler which gives the car a youthful look. Below this though this is when it gets a bit boring. We have a bumper but there is nothing to talk about. Right, let's talk about the motor and battery options. So from launch you will be able to get a 402 bhp motor with 660 newton meters of torque. This means the C40 recharge can do 0 to 62 in 4.9 seconds and has a top speed of 112 miles per hour. The battery size is 78 kilowatt hours and this can give the car 261 miles but this will improve with OTA updates. There is going to be a cheaper single motor model but this has not been announced yet. The price for the Volvo C40 recharge is £57,400. On the inside it is typical Volvo. The interior has been taken straight from the XC40. This means you get a fully digital instrument cluster and a portrait infotainment system. It is very easy to use and because it now has Google built in it has Google Assistant and Google Maps. We have some heater controls below for your front window demister and rear window demister. We also have a physical volume knob. Lower down we have a wireless charger and USB-C ports. We also have the typical Volvo gear selector which I have always liked. A couple of things that I do want to say is that this is the first Volvo to have a completely vegan interior and also I really do not like this blue carpet inside. It makes the car feel really outdated. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below and whilst you're at it don't forget to subscribe. So sitting in the back there is a good amount of legroom but headroom is not that great because of the sloping roof. We do get some nice door pockets and some air vents as well as an armrest. So the boot size of the Volvo C40 is at 413 liters with the seats up and we also have a front trunk which has an extra 31 liters of storage for your charging cables. So in summary then this is a very good coupe crossover from Volvo. It is quick spacious and is safe and it also has some great features. This car on paper will be popular but we will have to wait and see. If you like this video then please don't forget to like and subscribe and whilst you are at it, hit that bell icon to get notifications when a new video comes in. See you in the next video.